All right, now we're going to look at how to find images that work with this workflow. Okay. One thing that we we'll look for is images that have maybe a blurry background but light. In this case, uh, this butterfly has a very blurry background. Everything is in focus in the front, and this is in focus. So the main element that I'm looking for to maybe put on a t-shirt or a lighter or whatever I'm putting it on is very sharp. There's a non-distracting background here. And it's high res. So 1020, a little high res, but not too bad. So when you go to your search tools, always in Google, search for something that's insanely high. Let's say 4 megapixels. Elements like this one right here would not make a good choice. The background is as sharp as the foreground, and the element just gets mashed in there. I would never be able to work with that image. This one, the background's blurry, but it has elements of darkness in the background, so not so good. This one, a lot better. Resolution's kind of low, but it would work. Again, this one, bad because the butterfly itself meds, meshes in with the background. They're both at level of sharpness, um, and the background is relatively dark. Really good choice. The background is very blurry, the foreground is very sharp, and uh, all of the butterfly is sharp. So, and look at that, high res. So this is a good choice. Once you find an image on the internet like that, and I want you to go find one, and notice how much detail there is here. There is a ton of detail. Let's save this image as, and save it as a butterfly. So you go find an image right now that meets the same characteristics of that. It doesn't have to be a butterfly, it could be a bug, it could be a lion, it could be whatever. Whatever. But it has to have that recipe for uh, success. Alright, then once you find that, go to the next video.